49ers rookie minicamp day two. We may have to combine this with an LAX airport review, at least the Southwest Terminal. That's where I'm at right now. But just about a couple hours ago, I was at Levi Stadium. And I got a chance to meet several more of the 49ers rookies and I got a chance to watch practice. But the guys that came into the media room today were all excellent interviews. And one piece of really insightful information that I got from Jacob Cowing, the electric wide receiver, was that his coach at Arizona, Jed Fish, who's now the coach at Washington, he actually expected a lot of what Kyle Shanahan expects out of receivers in his offense. So Jacob Cowing, he's already used to blocking. He's already used to being really physical. Take a listen to what this 5'8 receiver had to say about his college experience and how it might have readied him for the 49ers. Um, I'm gonna be honest, like uh, coming from U of A, you know, with Coach Fish um, in his NFL background, um, it's very similar um, how uh, he threw a playbook at me when I first got there. Uh, very similar how they threw a playbook at me here. So uh, nothing new to me. So it was kind of easy for me to kind of pick it up. Um, I had um, you know, special things that I like to do to memorize things and stuff like that. So um, for me to memorize the playbook, it was kind of easy for me to get, uh, get down with it. Oh, 100%. Um, you know, also coming from uh, U of A with Jed Fish, it's the same thing. Um, Coach Fish and, and Coach Shanahan are very similar um, when, when they ask for a lot of the receivers to, you know, block and get physical. So, um, you know, it's the same kind of mentality that I have, you know, uh, uh, Arizona now coming into uh, to here. So um, I'm definitely going to get the job done, do it the best that I can to go out there and get W's in our calling. So Jacob Cowing obviously embodies the playing style that the 49ers like, and I think that's a common theme that you hear 49ers people talking about when they discuss these draft picks, because Tatum Bethune, the linebacker out of Florida State, who the 49ers picked in the seventh round, somebody who plays the style that the 49ers like, just aggressive finishing mentality at the linebacker position. Nick Sorensen, the defensive coordinator today, cited Tatum Bethune a couple times when talking about the throwback style that the 49ers really want to rediscover this year following the season under Steve Wilkes as their defensive coordinator. Anyway, whenever Sorensen mentioned Tatum Bethune, he would also mention Renardo Green. Renardo Green was Bethune's teammate at Florida State. Renardo Green is the second round pick of the 49ers, the cornerback who uh, is known as a very scrappy player. And Bethune was known as a thumper, a hard hitter in college. It turns out that Bethune and Green were very, very close at Florida State, as is revealed here with Bethune's answer to my question about their relationship back in college. Uh, it's crazy because me and Renato Green, we uh, we lived in the same complex back in college. His uh, room was right here, and my room was like right across the second building. So we could come outside and see each other anytime we wanted. We leaving for practice, we pull up to the same building. So. It's just like, that's like a brother to me. I'm glad he, glad he is. I know you play different positions, but I mean, you're a hard hitter. And, and it seemed like he really was a scrappy uh, kind of DB in college. Did Any similarities between the, the, the mindset that you guys bring to, to the field playing football? Uh, yeah, we, we all have the same mindset. I think that's what make us so good and just separate us from each other. We all just being able to be on the same page and understand each other and our movements and mannerisms. I, I could tell Renato's right behind me just because the way he moves or the sounds or just small things like that. So them being together is, just, is good. So Bethune and Renato Green, they might as well have been brothers at college in Florida State. And it's a perfect segue to Dominic Pooney, 49ers third round pick, offensive lineman who actually played his first year of college with his two older brothers at Central Missouri before he transferred to Kansas. But uh, Pooney played tackle that first year at Central Missouri, and his older brother was the other tackle. His older brother actually got uh, an off-season tryout with the Dallas Cowboys back after his college career. So Dominic Pooney comes from a football family. In fact, his other brother, the middle brother of age in that family, was a wide receiver. You can see why Pooney carries such a athletic frame even at his big size at 313 pounds i asked him about his family background and he just lit up have a listen to dominic booney talking about his two brothers you had a chance in college to play with your two older brothers yeah. uh what, what did that mean to you that to be able to i think it was just one year right that you had both of them on the yes. team yeah my first uh, one, yeah. uh what did that mean to you that that kind of helped set your trajectory football wise yeah so actually my oldest brother um uh, my, my middle brother's a receiver so my oldest brother, he was a left tackle and I was a right tackle. So he 
actually got undrafted to the Cowboys. So um, just kind of watching him work for a year. Um, he was like kind of like a vet like in the NFL, but like a vet for college. So just watching him work for a year, all the advice he gave me, um, it meant the world to me. I feel like I learned a lot because the next year I went to left tackle. So I just kind of took everything he taught me and just applied it. You think you, you're, one of your calling cards is your, your versatility. So the fact that you had a brother that was an, a lineman and another one that was a receiver growing up, uh, that's obviously different athletic types, different body types. Mm -hmm. Playing against those guys, do you think that that helped you develop as an athlete? Playing against both my brothers? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Cause I mean, you got speed on one side and then you got a big body on the other <laughs> side. So I mean, I mean, even just playing like basketball against them, it's like two different, two different beasts you're going up against. So I mean, just, yeah, it, it definitely helped. Your whole family are athletes, right? Your mom played volleyball, dad played football. Yes. Like, how did they affect, you know, influence your life? Oh, well, they, I think they just made, I, I think they're the reason I'm genetically the way I am. So I mean, <laughs> I, I thank them for that, but um, I mean, my dad, just him playing football, he played a lot of sports, but him playing football and just kind of teaching me the game my whole time growing up until high school, he coached me. So um, just, he just really taught me like hard work and like how to do everything the right way. Um, don't take no shortcuts. And then my mom, um, she played sports too, but um, like outside of sports, she, like she worked, I don't know if I can cut, I can't cut to me, can I? She, she, she worked her butt off um, outside. Like, so she had three jobs at one point. So like just the fact that she was able to do that and just for us, and then uh, my dad just being able to like, coach me when I was young growing up. It's just, like family aspect's like a huge thing for us. So. so that look at Dominic Pooney shows you just how well built and how athletic he is. Have a listen to him talking about athleticism within the context of the 49ers scheme up front for their offensive linemen. I thought that his evaluation of the, the fact that all four added 49ers offensive linemen this offseason have run extremely fast short shuttle times. I thought it was completely on point. They like to get out and run, run in space. Um, athletic alignment is their type. They don't want the 340-pound the lineman that, that can't move. Um, you know, you got athletes on this team all over the field, so you got to be able to block for them and run with them. So I think that's something, be able to move in, in short space and then just move it on the angles. That, I think that has a big correlation to why they picked us. And did, did you already see that on the practice field with, with the other three guys uh, today? They, they oh, really yeah. move? Yeah, yeah. Super athletic. It's all of them. So. And that is 49ers rookie intel from mini camp. By the way, Ricky Pearsall looked good today. Looked really good today. He moved very well. So make sure that you get your information from a trusted, reputable source on Ricky Pearsall. Also, trusted, reputable airport reviews. The Southwest Terminal at LAX is actually good, which might sound shocking because the rest of this airport is atrocious, but they rebuilt the Southwest Terminal a few years ago, and I have to say that it is solid. Now, final grade for LAX, a B, mainly because they will not shut up on the PA system. But seriously, even if they were quiet on this PA system, they only get a B because it's LAX. We cannot escape the fact that this is one of the worst airports in the world. All right, 49ers update is over. We'll see you guys soon. Emergency edition, we have a downgrade. LAX Terminal 1 now gets a D minus because they sold me this sandwich at Earth Cafe for $21. What an embarrassment, especially compared to SFO, which has some great food. $21 at LAX. They fail their airport review.